welcome back another video this job is a polo tdi we've had in back box delete but to r32 style now these these are quite tricky because there's no room because you've got spare wheel in way i have met them before um, so i know kind of roughly how to do it i'll probably put some pictures up here how i did it once before i think i've done it once maybe twice long time ago though probably like four years ago something like that so yeah that's our job today we're coming off that pipe up and over axle round here into an r32 delete now we are gonna have to make some modifications this bumper is gonna need cutting at bottom here because the tips what he wants focus tips what he wants are too big to go in that cut out so we're gonna put a slit there slit there slit there slit there basically make that bumper open we also might have to put like a bit of a cut out in bottom of bumper here camera keeps focusing on my hand yeah so Follow along and you'll see exactly how we make this. And it's also loud because it's got a DPF delete pipe on it. So we'll do your sound clip at the end. So that looks a little bit rough, you're probably thinking, whoa, what's he doing, cutting someone's car up? But once this is up for you, I'm not even tell, because tips are literally going to be sat here. And quite frankly, there's no other way. <laughs> Breathing all that fiberglass dust in is definitely not good for my health. <laughs> so we are going to have to make another cut here now. We have to like make a bit of an incision here. You'll, you'll see on the picture I've just put up on screen a minute ago why we have to do that, because pipe has to come through here. So the bumper mount, we have to improvise on that. And we also need another rubber here to support it. Yeah. Again, fall on, you'll see. So, not like a conventional R32 where we do a Y split, we can't do that on this, this boot wall in way. So obviously they're too close, I mean, don't want to get more like that. So we need to join that and that. The way we're going to do that is we're going to make, we're going to merge this pipe. So I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but essentially I'm not doing any fancy measurements, I'm just going to straight up eyeball this, see how it comes out. So I'm going to lay it over the top like that, I'm going to get my pen. And I'm going to draw around the contour of that pipe. And then what I'm going to be left with is I'm going to be left with a line that takes the contour of that bend. I'm just going to crudely cut it out with grinder and I'm just going to shape it on Linisha until it fits. But the key is it's obviously got to be perfectly 90 degrees to the first one, otherwise we'll end up with one bozzard tip. And we don't want that. So I'll just bring you along for it. Let's see how this happens. as much as it's hard to get down. That's about bang 90 degrees. And no fancy measurements, I am just straight up eyeballing this. So, get grinder there now. Cut around that and <laughs> see what happens. Might end up an absolute fail and go in bin or it might fit lovely. We'll see in about two minutes time. <coughs> so as you can see at a minute, it's pretty much a country mile off. But by the time I've done a bit of shaping on that, I don't think we'll be a million miles away. See, at the minute we're not quite there, we have still got a ginormous gap, but we are getting there and we are bang square. So I'm going to wipe these marks off, I'm going to reset the marks, and I'm going to put new marks where I need to see, like, it's touching pipe there, so I need to take that little bit out. It's touching pipe there, so I need to take that little bit out. I'm just going to just keep going bit by bit, just keep edging it until we get it perfect, and once it's perfect, we'll be, uh, we'll be pretty much there. As you can see, I've got that, I've got that quickly, really. Just straight eyeballed it, I've got it there within a couple of minutes, so happy. So 
That's close enough for me. I'm happy with that as a fit up. I can uh, tap that into shape, fill it as we go. But there's his merge. Who needs a pipe notcher? Yeah, it took me longer to get the notcher out, dust it off, find an arbor, find a cutter. It would have took me longer to do all that than it would have been to just do it like that. And in all honesty, you couldn't really do it with a notcher because it's on a curve. It's not a straight piece. It wouldn't have even worked with a notcher. It might look a little bit redneck, but that just ensures that we are bang square. Now what we need to do is we need to draw around this. Now we're not going to cut the entire thing out because we want flow to come out of both of them, not just one. So we're going to be, the gas is going to be coming into here. We don't want it to all just bypass this tip and go out that one. So we're only going to cut a small hole in. So a, part, a portion of it goes through to one tip, majority of it goes through to the other tip. All makes sense to you. The more we go. So I've made my cut. Just hold that. So in there, gas is going to be coming through there. Look, you can see I've left a lip. I'm going to show you. I've left. In there, left a lip at top here. I've left that on purpose because now some gas will come through and it'll want to get pushed up and out of this inside tip, and then a lot of it will go through into the back tip. It's just cosmetics, really. I want to make sure both of these tailpipes work. So with that design, they should do. We'll find out later in the video if it does. So that's all fully welded up. It's essentially just a T now. You can buy these, but but it's funny that that's not fabricating if you just buy it. So next step is now we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put a clamp on this. We're gonna put a, so this is short like that. So we need to extend it a little bit. Probably gonna put a slip joint here and a clamp just so we've got a bit of adjustment in and out, left to right, up down. Yeah, let's keep going. So that's his back section all made, ready to go. Need to weld this up. Weld that up in a sec. Next thing though now is we need to make the part what goes up and over axle just so we know what we're pointing at with this. So we'll get it made up and over axle, probably put a joint there as well. And then the last step will be to link it to this and the tips, I'll do the tips very, very last thing. They'll be the very last thing that I tack on just because uh, I spoke about in my other video how we clamp on tips on dual exits. Well on this one we just haven't got that space so they both need to be welded on. So everything needs to be all welded to the tips very last so it doesn't pull out of shape. Let's keep going. So we've already done a million polos and stuff before so we know what's what so we are basically there's a 75 degree bend that wants to be eight and a quarter inches because we're going to go over that by two inch clamp to that and then we've got about seven inch i've roughly measured this about seven inch and a 30 degree so it's 30 degree will bring us up another axle to about here there'll be another joint here and then we're going to Obviously, a link into his other piece. As our 32 piece, what we're making comes round here. We're about to trim bumper out here a little bit. So that'll come round here. There's probably going to be a V band in this area somewhere. And then the last stage of the puzzle will be to link that to this bit here. Hopefully, that makes sense. If it doesn't, keep watching and it will very shortly. So there's that bit all mocked up into a 75 degree, 30, up over axle. So there will be another joint there now and then we'll be linking into his new section but I need to swap ramps now, I need to move this off at four poster onto two poster because Carl needs this ramp to do some tracking work so I need to shift car, we need to have a swap around musical cars A little bit more progress We've got his pipe work perfect We have got springs out at the minute just because it's so low this car and on two poster we've got back axle at max extension to make sure we weren't going to whack on axle with exhaust so all I need to do now is get all that section welded up we'll put the tips on very last like I said earlier just weld it
So that's a wrap on Polo R32 exhaust. All finished up, all welded, all done. Let's see if both at tips work because we could have made life so much easier for ourselves. We could have just gone like that and then just teed that straight on at 90 degrees. But then from my experience, 90% of the time that left tip would have never worked. And uh, it's all in the details, stuff like that annoys me. So I think both my tips will work perfect. Let's get it on the floor and see. Right, the big reveal, we'll start it up. This is a diesel, so see smoke comes out both tips. Go on, Connor. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Stick with me, boys, and you'll go far. Stick with me. So that's working absolutely perfect. It's complete 50-50 between both tips. So you'll not get one clean tip, one mucky tip all the time. So it has got a DPF delete this this car, so it is quite loud. Uh, so don't expect to just do a back box delete on your Polo 1.6 TDI and it sound like that, because it won't. You need a DPF delete downpipe if you want it to sound like this one. Yep, hope you enjoy these videos. Drop us a subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.